Hey guys, I was listening to Jack. I've not bothered filming it because uh, I just I'm just throwing it together tonight. This is literally I've cut some of the pieces of work or whatever. But all I've made here is this is a scaled uh, build, effectively, the side of my house <clears throat> where I'm going to build the carport. So there's a window here, obviously, uh, the back door, electrical box. Obviously, that's a basketball hoop, and this is the garage. So this section here where this stops is where the house obviously stops and goes into the garden. So cut out there. So I might chop that away, but either way, it's um, just there as a reference. <clears throat> and then this is the brick pattern of the house with, like, uh, between the floors, the ground floor and the first floor, it uh, goes around the house. Uh, so basically, I've got a load of these thin timbers, which are pretty much the scale for what I've got. I mean, if I can rip them down so I can make everything to scale now. This is my border. Uh, at the edge, obviously, it goes onto the neighbours. So I can just quickly knock up a, a different uh, designs now without having to draw everything out. And um, I just find stuff like this easier to make it and see it visually than having to work things out so I can cut my angles, I can work out all of my exact angles that I need uh, for the timbers. So yeah, it's just something, I'll probably, I'll cover this, I'll, like I say, I'll make a little project on it, I'm building the carport. So that'd be like an evening job, get everything exactly how I want, and then it's just a case of getting the timbers ordered and get it all made, which should be fun. <laughs> right guys, I will uh, catch you later. Right guys, so a frustrating day yesterday um, regarding the McCulloch. I was just having a bad day and as you know you shouldn't really be doing things when you're having a bad day but I decided to ignore that and just carry on and uh, that's how much of a bad day I'm in a mood as I was. I didn't even film it because I'm supposed to be filming this McCulloch rebuild. And, um, yeah, insisted on trying to put it back together. Anyway, long story short, I damaged one of the piston rings, which are like hen's teeth. You just can't seem to get them for them old Max. So that now is, well, <laughs> I wanted to boot it across the garage. But I refrained myself. So yeah, all I'm going to do now is literally give all the steel parts a uh, a once over with some light oil and stop it from rusting over. Uh, pack in a box, I'm going to stick it in the loft. Just forget about it for now because uh, I've still got my other chainsaws obviously and I just don't really want to look at it and I don't want to have it around just constantly stepping over it. I think it'll just annoy me. Um, I've still got the 1010 to sort out. I mean, they're a bit more easy to get parts for. That's a good runner. I've got a carb kit coming for that, so I'll do the carb. I won't strip it. I'll just um, do the bare minimum. I'm going to make a, a um, wraparound bar handle for it as well. Something I want to try out. A bit of alley welding and that, so. So, yeah, that's going to get packed up and forgotten about. The home lights are still going strong. Um, on a lighter note, though, a stamp arrived. Um, it's a bit lots of glare uh, what I'll do is I'll take some photos of uh, I've just been testing it into some hardwood just to imitate obviously the soft metal when you, you're striking it so what happened is that the guy that made it me he just left it as a solid bar so when you went to use the stamp it just left a big ring uh, with the logo which isn't what I was after that isn't obviously my logo and um I've just, as you can see, I've just had to grind it away to get the hexagonal shape that I wanted on both both of them. So, yeah, originally I want he did it was called the coin press, which basically gives you the negative. So rather than cutting into the steel, the actual letters it raises them, um, but it didn't work supposedly. So he has used the same piece of steel and done my other design on the opposite side, but. Now that I've ground them away, it does work quite well. So I'm going to chop this in half, effectively. I've got two stamps in for the price of one, which is pretty good. Uh, I'm just going to make, machine, make some handles for these. So I can use them, obviously, strike with the power hammer or the press without my hands being in the way. And then I can finish them little axes. And I'll give you a little... Uh, I like to say, I'll put in a little photo of this stamp working. So, there you go. 
H13. If any of you guys know, as far as machining H13, what bits you use, carbide, won't touch it. The carbide bits just melted. I tried different speeds, tried to turn it right down. To no avail, it didn't work at all. So, that'd be interesting. I have to do some research there, make a note of it. But yeah, time to pack up the, the Mac. You know, when you just, I knew it was a bad idea. I just thought, you know, putting the new bearings in, it all went there nice. And then I just split the rings, trying to put it back in. Piston. So, I ain't got time to research and find bits or try and contact people through Facebook, blah, 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 because I've just got so much on, work-wise. So, yeah, that's getting packed away until I have time to look up for the parts or come across the parts in a group or whatever. But for now, it can just get stuck in the loft. So I've got another four or five chainsaws there, so I don't need to worry too much. All right, guys. I'll give you a little quick look at the uh, the stamp and then I'm out of here. I'm going to get this wrapped up. Hi uh, chaps. So uh, I was talking to you before. I'll probably, I don't know, I'll put the video together. Sounding a bit worse for wearing the video. Um, about me putting the timber frame carport that I'm building. Uh, so I've got a rough... So this is obviously all to scale. So here's the window to the side of my house. Uh, this is like a brick pattern that we have that's stepped out. I'm guessing it's to do with uh, runoff of the rain or something. Not entirely sure. And obviously we've got an electrical panel down here. The door to the back, back side of the house or the side. Uh, obviously the garage entrance here. And there's the, the basketball, uh, well, say hoop, basketball board. <laughs> and then obviously this is the... Uh, Echo draining. Echo drains go all the way along the house. And then obviously this is the concrete and this is gravel. So basically I've wanted to put a carport in since we moved in. Because I obviously work in the garage. We're planning on doing loads of work to the house. And I need like a bigger work area. Somewhere where I can make a mess and you know not have to worry about the weather. So <laughs> I can have like a timber uh, work area for doing all like my, uh, you know, well, general plastering, bricklaying or whatever. <laughs> I can all do it, all my prep work in there and not worry about making the garage a mess and uh, not being restricted to the days, you know, if it's pissing it down or whatever. So I'll be having a set of gates here that I need to make up. I need a cross member. Uh, these aren't all stuck down because I don't know. I need to, I need to work out, obviously, what uh, roofing material I'm going to go with. I can just considering... Um, like corrugated sheet with the, the plastic coated corrugated sheet, but obviously it'd be noisy, you get condensation. Uh, polycarbonate sheets, but I want to be able to work on it so I can work on the, the roof of the house if I need to. Um, so there's like cement boards which don't look particularly nice. Not that you're going to see them, so I just need to work that out really. Uh, these are obviously going to be lopped off. This is the border here, so these little cut out here these little things are the fence posts so i'm a border i've been in touch with the council they've let me know obviously my limitations i can't go any higher than four meters uh <coughs> the eaves can't be any taller than three meters uh blah 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 you know all that kind of stuff so um yeah i've got that to work with uh, <coughs> this is the Suzuki. So I made a scale, one tenth scale, rough cardboard cutout of the Suzuki because this is where I'm going to bring it when I obviously want to work on it. Bring it out the forge. So I should have enough room there for back it up. I can obviously have a set of gates. I can close the gates and then pull it forward again. Uh, and I can get to the engine and all the internal bits and do that, uh, which will be handy. And then I don't have to have it exposed on the front. So yeah, that's what I'm currently working with in my, well, same in events. I've just put it together with a hot glue gun. Uh, some people are like, why have you done that? Why don't you just draw it? Blah, blah, blah. But this is just easier. I can change things on the fly. Like I said, I need to do cross members, work out what's going to be 
better sheet wise, strength wise. You know, if I want to have any um, gussets or anything in here. So that's what I'm doing. And then I don't know if I showed you. So I had some stamps made. Focusing. Nope, of course it isn't. Come on. There we are. So there we go. The ones I showed you that I was having cut out. So the guy made me these on some 20 mil solid round bar. And all I've done is I've ground the hexagonal. So it's not leaving like a circular print. And then I've just made these uh, handles. You know, just turned a little uh, a ring, like a bracket there, a tube. And I've just TIG welded the top on. A uh, piece of 12 mil bar and then just stuck it on a bit of cherry. Just so I can hold them. So that's one. And then this is the other. So I don't know if you can see. Focus. No. There you go. So it's the negative and the positive. Um, I'll include a little picture on you, you know, the video so you can see that. So yeah, hopefully I'm open to get this all kind of finalised and working out exactly what I need. And then I can order all the timber. I've got all these already. These are 9B3s, which is a bit excessive for roof joists, but they were cheap. Uh, the farmer next to me, Forge, was selling a rook of them for 20 quid, so they're pressure treated. Um, so I could rip them down if I needed to, but I don't think I'll bother. Um, so I'm going to have to order the, obviously, these lengths going across and then the uprights. Um, get it all ordered and effectively make it like a kit and then throw it up. I'll get like either my brother or uh, get one of my mates to come around and give his hand and get it all together. Hope they have it built in a couple of days. And then I can, yeah, have somewhere to work outside, which would be handy. So, right, guys, I will uh, see you later. Uh, yeah, it's been quiet again because I said about me being ill, I caught another bug. Uh, there's lots of stuff going around, obviously. Um, yeah, so I had two really bad bugs <laughs> in December. Um, just uh, knocked me for six. So anyway, you're back. Feeling like 100% again now, so I've just been busy working. And uh, yeah. Right, guys, anyway, I'll uh, catch you later. This is just a quick video. I'll see you in a bit.